what, what I loved about working with you is when we started off, well, what did you take four or five hours with me uh, in person to really get to understand me and get to know what we spent a long time together that first day, better than half the day. Um, and that, that was, uh, that, you know, I didn't realize that's what was important to me when we set it up, but when I was done with it, I was like, I, I just felt, uh, so, so comfortable with, with you taking the time to understand your client. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate that. And one thing, that's just another thing that I find with business owners, again, you're busy. There's a lot happening. You're doing so much in your business as most business owners are, but rarely do they take the time say, uh, and it doesn't have to be with a coach. It could be on their own, take themselves on a half day or a full day or a weekend retreat where they just completely focus on where they are now in the business, where they want to take that and figure out that way to get there. So that's why when I first start working with someone, that initial time is so important because it gives the business owner the time to do that deep dive analysis and to really just focus on what's most important for them and take that really valuable time that often people don't, don't do. I, I, uh, you know, and um, uh, I won't ask you to use me as an example, but can you give like a, a bit of a war story of, uh, uh, jo you know, obviously not a name, but this person uh, had this business came to me and, and you took these steps over a period of uh, weeks and months. Did you have a, 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 a story for us on, on something that was really successful and kind of a, an example of how business coaching could be so successful? Absolutely. And I, I'll share an example, but I think a lot of business owners can recognize themselves in the story. So one person who comes to mind um, that I've worked with for a couple of years now, he's a financial advisor. And so I, not only do I work with business owners, but I also work with business professionals who are responsible for their own books of business under a larger organization. So like financial advisors, insurance agents, real estate brokers, those kinds of, of folks. And I was working with a financial advisor who came to me who had been in the business for about 12 years and was, was very successful in the business. And I, if you know anything about financial advising, which is, is like business ownership. If you make it through those first few years, you're, you're going to succeed. You know, if you get through that and you know it, cause that industry really uh, eats people and, and you know, chews them and throws them right out. Right. But if you make it and here he was 12 years in, but he wasn't where he wanted to be. He had hit that plateau and, you know, he was, and it was impacting other aspects of his life as well. So he had seen himself at the same income revenue level for a few years. Um, he had been an athlete in college and had his health had just, you know, it's kind of gone down because he hadn't had the time to really work out. He had four kids and he felt like they were not getting the attention that they deserved or his wife, because what would happen is he, you know, he's so good. He's so dedicated to his work, but he'd bring it home. And so in the evenings, he'd have his laptop out and his computer out and he'd be working. So his family relationship was suffering. His health was suffering. And he was like, you know, I don't know if this is worth it because I'm not seeing that increase. So he came to me and uh, we did that full assessment and we did the, the, the whole scattered to stream, streamline process. And he, he really worked hard at it. He, um, a few things that needed to happen was he needed to put himself on a schedule, right? Because he was just all over the place. So, and that schedule had to prioritize number one is health, number two, his family. So we talked about, all right, working out in the morning, making that time, shutting things down at six o'clock at night. It, that was family time, never letting work interfere at that time. And then during his days, making sure that he had focused time to talk to people, to work on his marketing activities, to have conversations. What was happening is he was getting really buried during the day in the paperwork Again, another of those in the business type things. And he always talked about his work being income generating and non-income generating, just two categories. But what was happening is the non-income generating work was like at 75% and the income generating was at 25. So he was doing a great job taking care of his current clients, but there was no growth. So working together, we shifted that. And now he's at 
75% income generating, 25% non-income generating. He hired an amazing assistant who's taking all care of all of the paperwork for him. I was He's gonna ask you, how, how did he get there? And you're you're telling us. Yeah, yeah. He he was at the point and he knew it, but you know, there's such talk out there about it's hard to find people. It's hard to find good people to help. And I I challenge anyone who says that because there are really good people out there. There are good people who want to do good work, who want to work with other good people. <laughs> take some focus. It takes some time. Oh, a dog is joining me. Excuse the uh, excuse the correction. Two. I, I believe I saw two come in. <laughs> oh, good. We've got two tails going. <laughs> if only that going. Happened. That's funny. Um, I, I yeah, I'm big in dog rescue too. So, <laughs> but anyway, back back to this client. So yes. Um, it, it took a little while, it took him a few months. He had, he hired one person that didn't work out, but now he has an absolute treasure of an assistant and he's still thinking of things that he can give to her. And, that, and she's coming to him, hey, can I take this off your plate? So that's great. Um, he had a company provided CRM, a client relationship management system, the technology, and, you know, to track client service and new clients and he wasn't using it. So we got him the technology straightened out. That has been such a, a huge boon for him. That's been really, really helpful to keep him on track is getting the technology done. So that, those were some examples of behind the scenes. And then just his focus. For so many people, there are so many distractions, right? The phone rings, the email notification comes up. And when someone really needs to be productive and focused, they've got to find ways to shut those out and shut those down so that they can focus entirely on the business. I, uh, that that's so important. I learned that the hard way, probably just before I, I you know, there's sometimes with my work, like a lot of us, where you really just need to shut the outside world out and bury your nose into something and and get it done and not let the beep of an email, the ring of a phone call, or something uh, take you off task. Cause I think there's studies that show it takes you like several minutes to get back in the flow of what you were originally doing as soon as you get uh, interrupted. It, it, no, that you're absolutely right. I, I read somewhere that it's like 23 minutes and I, I completely believe that. I, I, uh, too. I, I wish I had it handy. I, I use a, an hourglass. It's actually a 30 minute glass that I flip over and that helps me focus. I, I focus on one task until all of the sand has run out and I don't let myself do anything else until those 30 minutes have passed. And it's amazing with three flips of that hourglass, what can get done? Um, I, I haven't think, used the hourglass. I don't know if you probably shared that with me before, but I, I, I don't recall. So I, I want one of those. I'm going to get one of those. Oh, they're fabulous. Yeah. I mean, you can use a timer on your phone. For me, I like to see that that representation with the sand. But, okay. um, but getting back to the client, I just want to share some of the results that he received. So uh, last year, he hit the highest level within his organization. It's an international ad uh, financial advising firm. He hit pinnacle level. He is bringing his wife to Greece because one of the prizes that came with that was getting this wonderful trip. Right. So he he got that boost. He's he saw it was more than a 50 percent increase in his income as a result of that focus time. He's out. He's playing hockey all the time now. And and he's done it. Just what he said he would do with his family at night. And something is sounds so basic. Right. All right. I'll be home with my family and present. But now he's got this better relationship with his wife. He's there for the kids. He doesn't feel guilty when he needs to take time away because he knows when he's working, he's really focused. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just, it's been fabulous to see all the great things that have come in his life as a result of the work that he's done to streamline himself. 